We mentioned earlier that sales of existing homes are up, but so are foreclosures, up 15.6% in the first half of the year. With tens of thousands of homeowners desperate to find relief, they've become vulnerable to mortgage modification scams, and there are hundreds of such scams. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has more. The voice over the phone made it seem very official. The nation's housing modification center is located in Washington, D.C. area. And their mailings come in a brown envelope with a Capitol Hill address on Pennsylvania Avenue. Hundreds of homeowners took the bait. If getting somebody local there in Washington, D.C. is going to help me quicker, then that might be the way to go. Facing foreclosure after his house painting business collapsed, Chad Nicholas of suburban Seattle sent $1,000 to the nation's housing modification center. The way they boiled it down was if I worked it out with them, then they could put a, a freeze on my foreclosure. But ABC News found that the Washington, D.C. address was just a UPS store on Pennsylvania Avenue, a mail drop. The firm's actual location is across the country in this office building outside San Diego. Inside, a classic telemarketing boiler room operation where employees read from a script tailored for desperate homeowners. Right now, your government is trying to help you stay in your home and not displace your family. Tom Fatika took us through the routine. He was one of the telemarketers in San Diego until he says he discovered the operation was a scam. They're convincing people to give money to them in advance promising to do something that they're not doing. The San Diego business is being run by three men with criminal records, including this man, Brian Rosenberg. He went to prison in 2003 for his role in a mortgage fraud scheme in Baltimore. Can I ask you what's going on here? When our San Diego affiliates showed up to ask questions, they were ordered out of the building by the company president, Mike Trapp, who also has a criminal record for lying to a federal grand jury about a huge Ponzi scheme. Late today, the company called in an industrial shredding company and gave them boxes of documents to be destroyed. The chairman of the Federal Trade Commission offers four pieces of advice to avoid being scammed. If they're asking for money in advance, if they claim a 100% success rate, if they say pay them instead of your mortgage, or if they say they're connected to the government, well then forget about it. Hang on to your wallet and hang up the phone.